Thousands of people go missing in Louisville every year. It's such a big task for police that there is an entire unit dedicated to investigating the cases. Tonight, we're kicking off a new series called Missing in the Metro. Every month, Jennifer Bayless will examine Louisville's oldest missing persons cases. We start with a look at the unit itself and how the detectives handle such a heavy caseload. It's a very, very busy unit. Last year alone, we had 2,247 reports. And that's just in Louisville. Sergeant Donnie Berbering says the three detectives who make up the LMPD missing persons unit also assist investigators across the country. No, they're not stopped. They feel phone calls on a daily basis. They're reaching out to other departments to help find these kids that run away. Uh, we receive phone calls from different metropolitan areas asking, can you go check where this kid? So, yeah, we are, it's a very, very busy unit. The team has one full time cold case detective and two detectives who focus on new reports. Burbring says since he took command of the unit almost two years ago, most of the cases have been runaways. Kid gets mad at mom because mom won't let kid play the Xbox, so the kid runs away and the kid comes back. But that's not always the case. Burbring says his most difficult investigation involved a two year old girl and a nationwide Amber Alert. She was kidnapped by her dad, and there was a big struggle out in the the Walmart parking lot. Jalen Maxey was eventually found safe, but Burbring says cases involving a missing child are always the most stressful. When you get an Amber Alert, you know, all, all cars are involved in that. Everybody gets involved with it. All my detectives, the homicide detectives, I mean, we all work hand in hand with that. You know, and you're working with U.S. Marshals, you're working with the FBI. Those are very stressful cases. Burbring says in most cases, the missing person returns home or is found safe. But when that doesn't happen within six months, it's considered cold and is sent to the cold case detective, Mike Perry. Right now, he has 30 cold cases. The oldest is Ann Gottlieb. She disappeared in 1983. The case won't be closed until her body is found. Leads dry up on cases like this. So it's, it's up to him to kind of go out and jumpstart the investigation and go out and talk to people that are in the original case file. They also depend on the missing persons page on LouisvilleKY.gov, which launched a year ago. It features pictures, names, and information about Louisville's oldest missing persons cases. We started that because you know, there's a lot of people that don't realize what people's real names are. They know faces. They don't know names. So we figured if we put faces out there and people see faces like, man, I didn't know his name was James. You know, I knew him as something else. Burbring says the website has already paid off, bringing in tips and expanding the unit's reach. If you would like to take a closer look at Louisville's missing persons cold cases, go to WLKY.com and click on the top story section. Now, next month, I will continue the Missing in the Metro series with a look at Louisville's oldest missing person cold case, the disappearance of Ann Gottlieb. Jennifer Bayless, WLKY News.